G'day guys, J Man and African Drumming here, bringing you all the February news from the heartland and the home down here in Melbourne. And um, we like to work pretty hard around here. We also like to play pretty hard. And when you have drums like this kicking around, well, the job just gets that bit easier. What we've got here is a nice Guinean uh, Master Series Bugra Boo, beautiful Cardi. You top these off with a nice bit of thick African cow. And the tonal range on these things is so rich, the projection is really powerful. Um, and they just make for an awesome drum. And speaking of Guinea, we've got this nice uh, Dugara Timber one on the end here. This was skinned up by our mate Wayne. And he's done a phenomenal job, I think you can agree, on this rope on wrap around the outside. Um, he's also added this stud work. And look, it's, it's easy to come to work when you've got beautiful drums like this to play, to look at, and um, to send on to a good home. So if you're interested, then drop us a line. Speaking of drumming and all things good, we've got our drum retreat coming up down at Sock Hill, down, just down the coast near Aries Inlet. Um, for those who've been watching the news, there was a few fires down that way earlier in the year, uh, but no problems, nowhere near Sock Hill, so our favourite venue for drumming of a weekend till all day, most of the night, not quite all night, um, is Safe and Sound. So we'll be heading down there on the 19th, Friday the 19th, classes on 20th and the 21st, so if you want to get on board for that, then um, drop us a line, shoot us an email, give us a call, and I should reiterate that that's open to all levels, so even if you're, if you're watching this, you've just fresh signed up to our classes, you're a beginner, you're something, oh, I don't really know if I'm ready for a whole weekend of drumming, just do it. It's the best thing you can do for your technique, for understanding the music, it's like a six week cycle crammed into two days. Added to that, there's great people there, um, it's always a lot of fun, and it's like a little mini getaway if you like, uh, taste of West Africa, just less than two hours out of Melbourne and it's always a blast. And we've got Simon and Bulba teaching so you know that you're going to get pushed, that the content's going to be rich um, and it's going to be plenty of fun. As you move through our classes and you may be aware, you get to a point where you're at an uh, intermediate to advanced level and one of the things we like to do then is bring you into our community ensemble which is known around here as Sessi Sessi. And we train with those guys looking at different um, parts of your musical understanding, if you like. So it's taking on things like leading the ensemble um, and making sure that that's rich and you've got a couple of different shakers going um, and, you know, how you're going to cook up the arrangement, who's doing solos when, all the while man managing the crowd expectations and reading those sorts of things, carrying the whole rhythm, keeping it all in sync with the duns. And for anyone who's ever had to do that, which there's plenty of us around Australia that have, you know that that really pushes your playing in a very different way to a traditional class format where you're learning a set rhythm, uh, maybe to perform it as a class. So we take that community ensemble quite often. Um, so take them on the road quite often, I should say. And we've got two great gigs coming up for those guys. We're going to be at St Kilda Festival. Um, you know, we love St Kilda. We've live, been living here for a long time at African Drumming. And the festival is a massive day, and we're going to be down there and a part of that. We're also, for the first time, going to be part of White Night. So that's in the CBD, where they light up the buildings all night, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. We'll be roving through the city, um, sharing the music and bringing the djembe love. Probably closer to 7 p.m. than 7 a.m., but hey... We'll see what happens. If you are very fresh to us, then classes are coming up again. We start them on a six-week cycle. The next round of those, of course, start February 22nd that week. So Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on the location. All of that's on the website, as always. So jump on there and check it out. And next cycle leads up to our next tribalism, of course. First one for 2016, and that's going to be Sunday, April 3rd, over the bridge at Kindred. Um, great little venue. Works really well for us. And um, the Sunday afternoon format's really nice, chilled out vibe, but we get up on stage, give it a bit of a djembe pump, and, um, and have fun, of course. And it gives us a focus for those classes as well, a nice delivery on stage. Talking about April, towards the end of April and May, we've got our first round of teacher training, or our African drumming facilitator training is coming on. Melbourne is the first cab off the rank. After that, we have of all around the country, of course, we've got Adelaide, Perth, Sydney. Um, if we get enough numbers, we'll do one down in Tassie. If you're a teacher and you're watching this and you think, hmm, probably got five or six of us or maybe eight, or we've got a cluster of kinders that we can get together and do it, shoot us an email. We can come and visit you. Anywhere you are, pretty much, we can come and visit and bring this teacher training. We can train up any group of people to deliver any kind of drumming session to any kind of audience. That's the format that we use. That's the template that we use. And it's, um, 
proven, reliable, works year in, year out, and it's a hell of a lot of fun. So if you want a weekend to really upskill and um, grow your practicing, your playing, your music, and your teaching um, abilities, then um, get us the overview from us, shoot us an email, and you can book in and look at those dates right across the whole year. They run from uh, April, May, as I mentioned, all the way through to October in the different locations. So just inquire, let us know, and um, we go from there. Of course, you may be very well aware that the Rhythm Power Tour, the tour in Africa, has just finished. Simon came back just two days ago. Um, he's pretty much over his jet lag, which is always great. And the thing with that is if you feel like you missed out, which you did because it was an awesome trip from what I hear, I wasn't there of course, but I've seen the photos, jump on the Facebook page um, and you'll stay updated to that sort of thing all through the year. And uh, you'll see some of the other participants who are there, they've got their own photos and there's always plenty of music um, and videos filtering through across the year that Simon's grabbed when we were over there. And um, it's a great tour. If you do feel like you've missed out, you haven't missed out for the whole run for the year for intensives, Bali is coming up and uh, while the weather can be pretty similar to uh, Africa, the vibe is different and the duration of course is a bit shorter. So if you're finding it tricky to get enough time to go and do a trip to the motherland, then why not go halfway or not quite halfway, but go a little bit of the way, get across to Bali in May, um, get your, your djembe fix for the year. It's an intensive, Simon's teaching, Booba's teaching, Tara Tucker will be there, our favorite lady from Taz, and congrats to you Tara for your big wedding this weekend. And um, it's gonna be a blast. There's a lot of people that have come two, three, I think we've got someone who's come four, might even be a fifth. Um, and again, jump on the website, you can download the info pack, you can sign up straight away. Um, and those places do run out, so make sure that you do book in and we can sort out um, all the numbers and make all of that work. Of course, here I am in the warehouse. We've been clearing out things out here, cleaning up, making sure everything works because the first round of containers is due to roll in. We've got our first Indo container coming in about two weeks, um, chock full of goodies as always. Then the first Africa container will come in around about April, mid-April, something like that. Um, that'll have a lot of goodies in there and then later in the year there should be another one from Guinea as well. So this format behind me tends to roll and change and um, certainly keeps us out of mischief through the year. That's probably about it for me for February. It's a short month. It's just a shorter newsletter. If you like these drums, jump online. We'll have some audios on there this afternoon. Also, by the time you're watching this, they'll already be there. You get to listen to them. If you can't get to the shop, that's about as good as you're gonna get as a taster for them. Um, they look great, they sound great, they, they smell great, but hey, I'm a djembe player. That's enough from me. I'll see you again in March. Ciao for now.